Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with Corky AD Carry. It's either going to be Corky or Ezreal, and I opted for Corky in the end. So, let's go over the lane matchups. We have Lee Sin in the jungle against Udyr, Nasus top against... I'm going to say Gragas, Rise mid against Zerath, and I'm Corky partnered with Leona Bond against Cog and Nar. So, Leona and I should have pretty comparable power spikes. Definitely should be able to synergize with one another as long as it's not something player related that's causing the issue. Anyway, Quirky, let's go over how he works, since it's probably been a little while since I uploaded him. He just noticed. Your passive is Hextech Shrapnel Shells. Your auto attacks deal 10% of your AD as bonus true damage. Your Q is Phosphorus Bomb. You target an area on the ground, you lob a bomb out, does damage, magic damage, and it reveals the enemies that are hit has both an AD and AP ratio. As you can see, the AD ratio does leave a bit to be desired. Okay, I don't want to stick around since he smited already. But one thing I can point out is Cog is running Flash and Ghost. I'm gonna miss the first CS. And the annoying part about the whole uh, NAR support is his boom. since he's resourceless, his boomerang is free to use. It's just we need to wait for crud. Wasn't really expecting Leona to use her shield on the one minion, so... And I didn't really want to burn my flash, but she can burn hers for all I care. I don't know if Nar knew that Cog had Ghost instead of Heal, but I'll take it. go back, I can pick up a Vamp Scepter so that I have some sustain to their poke. And I think I actually want boots so that I can try to dodge the boomerang better. Let's see, Cog has 10, I have 19, is Nar... Nar has the Relic Shield. Well, he can use it once he transforms, I guess. And here's where that Nar poke is going to start to become a problem. Let's get the Gatling gun online.
as you can see, when I have a uh, AD carry with some early game power or some mid game power, Leona is a freaking awesome support to have. When you have a hyper carry, not so much. I need her to hit that one. And I'm out of mana, she's at half, we can blow this pop stand. An enemy has been slain. I'm on it, Black Shoe! I want the Sheen because I can lay down a ton of burst if I sink my spell blade procs with uh crud, I forgot what Leona's passive is called. But when the enemy is glowing yellow like they do when she hits them with an ability, it means bonus magic damage. So I can do a lot of burst, a deceptively high amount. Ah, he got me. Gotta make that Yordle bleed for that. And let's get our missile stacking. For a second there I was trying to use my skills, but they wouldn't go through because... I don't really know why. And, like, right now... I don't think they're working on the server or anything. Hopefully it's just some minor issue. Crud. What's the ratio? <laughs> Pretty bad. Yeah, these bad ratios are the reasons why I really don't like to play Corky as an AD caster. I still like to keep him auto-attacking. I wonder if he's done this NAR support thing before. <laughs> Make him even more miserable. This is Major Tog to ground control. 
So, I hope that's rounded up to 15 true damage on every auto. Of course, it's going to stack onto the spell blade whenever I use an ability. And from there... Yeah, these ratios are so bad. That's a point two, I think. This one... It's point two five. And I grabbed the Valkyrie there just because I may need less than a 20 second cooldown on it. I'm probably going to start maxing Gatling Gun unless something comes up to really force me to be fast on my feet. Ooh, expecting to try to dodge, but... Uh, one of those moments where you try to outsmart the enemy and they do nothing to dodge it, and managed to get away by doing so. They got me. And we lost Lee. I'd stay there and fight him since the prize is coming. And sorry, guys, you're going to miss the end of that fight. soloed that. That's fine. Lee is making enough plays elsewhere to justify the Dragon Gold. Cog 43 to my 91, so yeah. No! <laughs> Ticking. And no eyes on Udir. If he doesn't show up, we can just go ahead and take another one. Hey, there he is. Nasus is low on mana, but he got a blue buff off Udir, so... I didn't want that. 
I don't like Caster Corky, so... And I'm still not quite sold on what... Holy crap, it's 17 to 2. I'm responsible for half the team's deaths. I suck. Well, instead of wondering about what... Lifesteal BF sword item I should build, I guess I should go uninstall. Well, it was a nice run while it lasted, guys. I'm sure we had our moments, our ups, our downs, etc, etc. Okay, now I'm only responsible for a third of the deaths. It's marginally better. Okay, guys, false alarm. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. It's up to them if they want to wrap this up within 20 minutes or not. Looks like we'll wait for the surrender vote and just do dragon instead. So, if nothing else, the whole moral of the story is... You don't pick a jungler and just farm while your lanes lose. You're not going to be carrying late, especially when there's a freaking Leona on the field. But Udyr should have looked at our team comp. The Nasus Wither is going to shut down his split push if he tries to stop it. He's not going to outduel Nasus. He isn't playing the matchups at hand. Kinda wanted to spam the taunt in front of Cog, but no go. So I would say things are getting better in season five, but if you've read about the devourer, it's not necessarily going to change. Up to something, Gragas? Okay, I'm only responsible for a quarter of the team's deaths now. We're moving up, guys. One fail at a time. Crap. And... Do I want to stick around the base? That's the question. Zero for three, dude. So, awesome way to end the game. I dodge all three shots of Zerat's ult. 
Okay, maybe it wasn't really. But I'm just gonna keep telling myself that it was. So, a horrible, horrible, quirky stomp, but... Cog, bad summoners, Udir, nothing but farm, just a mess. And like I said, Devourer is making Season 5 look like it may not change. Same beast, different item. Anyway, I'll post thoughts and observations in the description. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.